honey buns, welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Life. I am Tamika, just a country Mississippi girl, born and raised, but is now living in North Carolina. I am a wife and a mom of three. My channel is aimed to inspire and motivate you. To love me is to know me. Always remember this scripture, Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against you will have any success and you will condemn. Y'all. <laughs> I was in here laughing because I feel like he was being funny. Y'all, I just took this chicken out. Is that it? <laughs> y'all, I don't know if I, if I don't know what happened. Look, y'all, look. He said it wasn't going to leak and I wasn't going to be fussing no more. Look, y'all. He doubled this chicken. One. Hold up. One. Two. <laughs> three. Four, that's two, five, six, and seven. Sell back, y'all. I got the chicken and I'm like, let me go put this chicken on. <laughs> and I'm tearing through the bad side. I'm like, what in the world? I'm like, no, he did. He, <laughs> y'all, he went back and put that chicken in seven bags. I don't think I fucked that much. Y'all, I just got a kick out of it. I got a kick out of it. I kept trying to turn the bed, turn the bed, turn the bed, turn the bed, turn the bed. <sighs> yeah, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm about to season up this chicken real quick so I can get it in the oven. So I'm going to put some salt on it. some chipotle just a little bit chipotle chili peppers some garlic powder let me get it open garlic powder onion powder I got my oven preheating to 350. So once I get this on there, I am piled. While this cooking, I'm gonna start cleaning up, organizing, I guess a little bit. This is chopped chives, but open this. All that on there, and Tatiana favorite paprika. Paprika. Yeah. I like my meat to be red. <laughs> I'm so happy that I can take more stuff, but we still have to be careful because me and the kids have GERD. Y'all know that. Y'all, I say stuff on repeat, but I'm trying to get used to it. Like, I don't want to get GERD. I don't want to get GERD. I don't want to get GERD. Y'all, I say stuff on repeat. Some of y'all know that. Some of y'all don't. We're constantly getting new people on the channel. So, um, you know, I have to repeat for those that's new. And those that's new, welcome. Y'all see why I can't do the press on nails? I cannot do them. The kids loving them, though, because... My hands staying bleaching stuff too much and doing too much, man. I tried to cop the same money, but I said, you know what? I'm going to get my nails done. Um, because that's what I like to do. And that'll be a little treat for myself. But that's why I couldn't do them press on. But them kids back there right now, the girls, Kylie's already done. I had some leftover press on when I had bought some to try because they was on sale. And them kids wearing them now. And they love it, but they don't do half of what I do. <laughs> so they can they can do that, you know. I'm gonna put a little olive oil off up in there. Wash my hands. And see y'all, this is the part you don't see. You don't see the bleaching down of the sink and all that stuff. Because I have to cut it sometime, you know. But 
It does happen, okay? Ain't no salmonella growing up in here, if I can hit it. Here you go, put some of this olive oil over this. And I rinse my meat off too, y'all. That's just me. Now I'm about to put it in the bowl. On it. And it's going in the oven. Okay. And when it gets through, I'm going to put um, barbecue sauce and stuff on it and put it back in the oven. This is going to be barbecue chicken. Barbecue baked chicken. Mm -hmm. Last at least two days. Now it's gonna go in the oven. All right, y'all. So I'm getting it together. I'm getting it together. Okay, got the chicken in the oven. I done bleached out everything. It's my soap water for those that don't believe. I mean, we believe you know that's gonna come first. Um, but I'm about to tackle this because I gotta get some stuff organized and all that. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to tackle this and then see how far or whatever so I can get other things. But I gotta bring some stuff down. I'm gonna keep some stuff. I'm not. So that's what you're about to get to see me do is tackle this uh, thing right here. I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm alright. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing. Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling. All because of you You and I were so sweet, so sweet Talk until we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah But you really get me, get me Make me fall to my knees, my knees Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love Catch up on my reading. I should catch up on my eating. Yeah, but it's hard to keep the thoughts straight. With you all up in my face. Try to get you on my mind. But why should I when you're all I really like? Yeah, I feel higher than a mountain. All because of you. You and I were so sweet, so sweet. Talk until we asleep, asleep. Every night I fall deep, fall deep.
So I am done organizing the cabinet so now I can see the stuff that I'm going to be pulling um, from the working pantry in the back, okay, to this area up here as I need it. So I just got a couple soups or whatever, some beans, this, that, and the other. That way I can see everything really, 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 really good. Now, what I'm happy about, now over here. I have started put everything in jars. Remember I told y'all a while back I want to eventually get everything into mason jars. This right here I did not bag up because I need to go ahead and use it. It's already expired so I need to make some bread. This is the stuff I use when I am doing my gluten free because y'all know I had to go a while being gluten and dairy free. So now that I am back eating gluten and dairy I still have my um i call it acting <laughs> gone but y'all know what it is if you done had the bake stuff specialties then you know you have to use that for some stuff my white rice flour 
and my all-purpose um, gluten-free flour so I don't want that to go to waste because that stuff is expensive so definitely gonna have to use it and then right here I got all-purpose flour regular all-purpose flour and those this is where my cornmeal gonna go in because I don't have any cornmeal and then I got um, dry milk that's an expired but I'm gonna go ahead and use that and probably making my cornbread and stuff so I can get that out the way so that's why I didn't package that up and then I just got like right here this rice is gonna go in jars I need some gallon mason jars for the bigger stuff like noodles rice stuff like that so I just got this sitting here because it is open and then I just got this little thing right here for like little leftover snacks or whatever some cereals for the kids stuff like that all the juices gonna go down there um and then over here it's gonna be like for produce and stuff like that water I don't have to do water because I have this um water cooler thing this is what we use for our water so we just fill get these jugs filled up or whatever so that's why water won't be over there if I buy water it's gonna be for um the stock up for the back okay okay y'all this is what I made for dinner barbecue baked chicken so I had took let me just say this when I do mine I cook it um, on 350 I cooked this probably about three hours yeah three hours uh-huh <laughs> and it does wonders but then I take some of the juice off um, and I put it in this mason jar okay this is chicken juice all right so I'll do that and then I put my barbecue sauce on it at the end then I put it back in the oven for about 10-15 minutes and this is what you get now that chicken juice can be added to um, if you want to make um, like a soup or something using ramen noodles I pull some of it over in my rice cause so yes this is the rice um, that that you see in there is from the chicken juice I pulled some chicken juice over in there and it's got some butter I gotta stir that up but and last but not least, oh, it's fogging it up, it's fogging it up, is my French style green beans with all the seasoning and stuff. Because I'm doing it in, I did it in my rice slash slow cooker. So, yeah, all the seasoning and stuff is on the side, but that's what we're having. Okay, y'all, here you go, my meal. So, rice, and I put some of the barbecue um, chicken juice over it with some green beans and the barbecue chicken i am about to dig in everybody has their plate and they are eating all right y'all so if y'all watched that vlog that i did um where i went in food line and got the um the um well i found these right here that was marked down i don't even know what i was going to say i'm trying to think about if it's uh what vlog is that in might have been might have been the vlog before this one. It's the vlog before this one. I went in food line and um got this this right here. It was done on the same day, but that vlog went up before this vlog. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. So y'all, this is this. I so I found out why one of them was marked down two seventy eight in the end, like a dollar and something. The ones with the barbecue sauce was the one marks down for two seventy eight but that's coming from like five six dollars this one right here that's got beef broth this one was the one that was like one twenty eight or something like that so stocked up on six ten um all together so yeah um this is meat y'all this is meat this is shredded beef brisket okay in time of emergency it's meat no it's not packaged like for um it's not like survival like purposely for survival food and this is what i like it is gluten free no msg gluten free is what gets me i hope it's true today um but fully cooked ready to eat this is the type of stuff you need to look for when you install to see if there's closeouts um see if it's marked down that if, if it's closeouts or whatever and it's in your price range go ahead and get it because this is the type of meat that i want to stock up um this meat can meat, you know stuff like this um to put in the in the emergency stock now let's check out the expiration date expiration date on this says ooh, december 20th 2023 this will be good past it okay because that's just the date they wanted out the store okay let's see this one says October 2023. 
October 2023, it is still going to be good. I am not worried about that at all, okay? So, yeah, so I'm happy about that. That is me to get stocked up for emergencies. Put it in your extended pantry. If you're doing extended pantry, emergency pantry, whatever you call it, okay? Get you some stuff when you see it marked down.